Originality and Minimal, Pineapple on Pizza, and Hypebeast with Women are some of the most unspeakable combinations known to man, but for the sake of this video, we'll focus on the deadly combo of fashion and TikTok. It's no surprise TikTok has blown up fashion as an interest or hobby. Everyone from the Charlie D'Amelio fans buying their first pair of Nike Dunks to those wearing full archive fits, it seems everyone has stumbled upon fashion TikTok. The app's gone on to fuel the absolute hottest trends, all the way to exploiting the style of blue-collared workers, raisin and peanut lovers, and your average bloke. In other words, it's a free-for-all, and nobody's style is safe. So let's break down the items in your closet that TikTok may have ruined. The connotation of being TikTok fashion can kill something fast. The perfect example is the Stussy 8-Ball Sherpa. A simple design mixed with coziness and recognizable branding drove the hype up instantly for these, along with the resale prices. TikTok bought them up and almost instantly decided they were dead. The 8-Ball design doesn't really do it for me here. Instead, I'd opt for a past Stussy fleece or I've seen some great stuff from Gramichi and 18 East. Out of the most popular sneakers of the last few years, Jordan 4s stand out as a staple in TikTok fashion, specifically the Black Cat 4s. Nike's done an excellent job at milking the hype on 4s for years now. However, it's a model I still don't see out very often. 4s are a classic and I don't see them being viewed differently anytime soon. Bella Hadid, Ye, Evan Mock, and many more did their part in turning AirPod Maxes into the IT fashionable accessory. Any trend as widely known as these seem to perform great on TikTok. I'm a fan of subtle flexes, but these weren't for me. The affordable alternative of cost Porta Pros are also meh in my opinion. Instead, I highly suggest you play your music out loud so people can see your level of taste isn't just limited to your style. What clothing do you think of when you hear workwear? Beat Carhartt double knees and Detroit jackets immediately pop into my mind. TikTok seem to love pairing both with Birkenstocks and Jordans, although there is the opinion that you shouldn't wear Carhartt unless you're doing Carhartt activities like working in a warehouse or financing a truck. I get that, but you can't deny they still look cool. This one's controversial, but New Balance 550s have probably received the biggest switch up in sneakers history. I know you used to like these. With a lot of recent sneaker releases, it seems that TikTok has been a huge aspect in increasing the popularity of certain sneakers by gaining love from both guys and girls. With some incredible collaborations and solid materials, the problem seems to be with 550s that they just became too popular and trendy for their own good. Fans of basic sneakers have bounced around from Forces to 550s to now Sambas, which brings us to our next item. According to my For You page, Adidas Sambas are the shoes you should be buying. Football fans love them first, but now the trendsetters of TikTok have taken over. Those who bought a pair for the hype probably will ditch them, but Sambas are timeless. If you like the shoes but don't like the current hype, I highly recommend Adidas Alternatives of the Aloha Supers and Addy 2000s. To create your best outfits, the recent general rule has been the bigger the pants, the better the fit. The baggy pants tight top or just oversized everything look specifically brought attention to cargo pants. This was another case of TikTok creating mass popularity and trendiness behind a normal or essential piece of clothing. Since everyone has basic cargoes, some personal favorites are from Bronson MFG, Jakov, and Engineered Garments. At one point, Dunks were the sneakers of TikTok. Honestly, the sneakers of everywhere. Nike Dunk Lows do feel overdone, but the highs just get disrespected. The chunky silhouette seems to be too much for most people. This means a lot of clean Dunks go under the radar, which is totally cool with me. Light chocolates, Tokyo Fragments, and Summit Whites are three of the best. If you enjoyed this video, go check out some more. Peace.